and welcome back to the Angry Teacher channel. I'm Richard Williams, the Angry Teacher. And if you are interested in anything education, then this is the place to be. You're in the right place. Uh, students, parents, teachers, admin, whatever your, your stake is, this is the place to be because we're trying to reach all of you. With that said, if you've been here before, thanks for coming by. I need all of you to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for the next Angry Teacher Dope video. Leave some comments too, so we can have a conversation. Let's get into the video. Now, I'm gonna be reading some, well not reading, but I've read something, a 1997 article on the positive educational outcomes of interdisciplinary studies. And basically that means, and, and this is, we're gonna look at how, the idea of why they came up with it. This is basically looking at education through all the lenses that affect all the different parts. For example, we're gonna be looking at the history, the art, the math, the science, all of that together as it works to build the whole student. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, the logic of interdisciplinary studies is that it helps to increase understanding, retention, and the application of the information that you're given. So if I'm teaching Shakespeare, I can use it through the lens of history, obviously. Um, and so the history teacher can use the lens of the art of the time. The art teacher can use some of the architecture slash the mathematics of the of, of how things are, or, or how they did things, and the color schemes, and the sciences, all of these working together for the one um, purpose of enlightening the student of whatever we're teaching at the time. Number two, it better the overall comprehension of the interdisciplinaries of the the global interdisciplinaries of and it helps us with the point of view the perspectives it makes everything come together globally and even nationally and locally so if you're talking about the history of the, your city where, wherever it is once again you can bring in the art you can bring in the 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 why things happened the way they did and you can talk about the, the foods and the science of it and the math all of that comes together to help the, the student become um, enlightened and comprehends that this is how this all ties together so it betters the perspective of the student it betters the perspective of the student of your whole community your whole town now they know why things are the way they are or where things are and why things are there um, from the origin um, when it was created and the people in it it also adds to their values um, for example, if there is, you know, your kids ride by and there's a statue every day and they have no idea who it is, after certain level um, lessons and the class goes on for a while and the different teachers are talking about the different things and what this person represented or whatever, it kind of builds them, they kind of have some understanding of their values and the, the, the town's values and where they are and why things are the way they are. According to this, this article, it also adds to students' creativity their ability to recognize things and to, to make decisions and to it helps their thinking capabilities and their feeling capabilities so all these interdisciplinary instead of teaching in a silo teaching where your your lesson touches on different areas it helps them connect emotionally it helps them connect creatively it helps them connect cognitively and start making better decisions and decisions that they know will pay off positively for them. Number four, the logic behind the interdisciplinary um, studies is that it allows for collaborative work or cooperative learning. So you as the teacher becomes a learner after the different activities that you give and when a kid brings up, um, well, in science it was said that blah, 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 is that something that, yep, that's what it is. And so you're learning as you're teaching, they're learning as they're teaching us and giving us back information as they're prepping and going through the lessons, they're also learning and they're gonna be able to share back with us and so we all learn cooperatively um, as a community. So we're building each other up as we're learning together. And lastly, number five, there is increased motivation because of this um, interdisciplinary um, study. I want to do something because I want to learn more about how science um, of 
creating the paints for this art is, is how it comes into play. I want to know what these chemicals are. I also want to know the foods that were up, um, around this time. I want to be able to draw that. I want to be able to um, act out the, the, the different scenes of, of how this town came to be or how um, the how we elect a president in this country. Whatever the classes are, whatever the activities are, and they're interdisciplinary, it forces students to kind of delve deeper and want to be motivated to learn more. Now, if I'm a student of, I'm not a student of history, I'm not a fan of history and whatever, but in English, I have to write about how a how we elect a president and what they have to go through or whatever, I will eventually become not a history buff necessarily, but I'll have to go delve into my history. Or, you know, after the list, I'm going to have to, I'm doing the list, I'm going to have to pay attention. These are things that all help us to become better citizens of that particular country, that particular nation, um, or that particular locality, the particular community, because that's where we're all, all the subjects are connected and they're all helping us to become better people. That's all the time I have for you right now. I hope you learned something. I need you to go out there and be great. Hey, let's just go out there and teach. Um.